اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر وإن يروا آية يعرضوا ويقولوا سحر مستمر The planet you currently call Earth, and the moon, has undergone many changes over time. 24 billion years ago, before its attrition due to a cosmic catastrophe, your planet was a much larger planet called Timat. Prior to that, 66 trillion years ago, your moon and your planet were combined together to form one massive planet called Dewawet. This is where my story begins, my name is Luna, and they call me the evil genius, crazy mad scientist. Originally I came from the planet Gaga, which you now call Pluto. Much like you call your planet Mother Earth, we call our home world of Pluto Lady Gaga. On my home world of Gaga, everyone spoke one language, called Gugu. But on the planet Tiwawet however, the people spoke 13 different languages, one language for every tribe on the planet Tiwawet at the time. Since the language of the people of Tiwawet was confounded, I decided to travel to the planet Tiwawet to give them a one world order, and unite the people under one language, one tongue, one dialect, so nothing will be restrained from them which they imagine to do. I traveled from Gaga, to planet Tiwawet, on a chariot spaceship called Big Ga. When I arrived on the planet Tiwawet, I was able to unite half of the planet under my newly established order. After just a short period of time, Six of the thirteen tribes on planet Tiwawet were speaking my one world language and following my one world government with me as ruler. Although I only ruled the lower half of the planet Tiwawet, I had greater ambitions to rule the entire planet, along with the sun, all the moons, and all the stars. Rather than using military might and force, I decided to use diplomacy and appeal to the reason of the governing council of the upper half of the planet Tiwawet. I told them that since I already controlled half of the planet, and six of the thirteen tribes were my followers, then it only makes sense to give me control of the upper half of the planet to create a one world order under my rulership. The governing council thought that I was being sarcastic, and subsequently voted down and rejected my request. I was angered by the council's rejection of my request. Since my use of diplomacy and appeal to reason failed, then I had no choice but to declare war on the people of the upper half of Tiwawet. Out of chaos comes order. I decided to destroy the planet Tiwawet, and my new one world order would rise and emerge from the rubble with me as the great emissary supreme planetary ruler. I used over 30 million tons of atomic energy to blow up the planet Tiwawet. I used a nuclear bomb called Ballas, which was made from plutonium from my home world of Gaga, or Pluto, and placed it inside the center of the planet Tiwawet. My intention was that by using this amount of explosives, I would cause a shift in the orbits of the planets and cause a planetary collapse. When the ballast plutonium bomb exploded, it caused the planet Tiwawet to split into two parts, one part would become the planet Earth, and the other part would become the Moon. Evidence of this explosion and separation of the Moon from the Earth is still visible on the planet Earth. The explosion created what is now called today the Grand Canyon, and gave birth to the celestial body you call the Moon. Also, in the center of the planet Earth, a long 30-mile hollow cavern was created due to the plutonium bomb. When the plutonium bomb exploded, causing the moon to split off from the Earth, six of the 13 original tribes of the planet Tiwawet who were not my followers, instantly died in the explosion. I survived the explosion on the part of the moon which you now call the dark side of the moon, along with six of the 13 original tribes who were my followers. There was only one of the 13 original tribes of the planet Tiwawet who survived the explosion, and that tribe's name was the tribe of Shabazz. The name Shabazz means Noble Phoenix because the tribe of Shabazz arose from the ashes of the destruction of the planet like the Noble Phoenix bird. The tribe of Shabazz went on to discover the best part of the planet to live on, the rich Nile Valley of Egypt and the present seat of the holy city Mecca Arabia. The tribe of Shabazz were originally a tribe of jet black people with straight hair, until 50,000 years ago, when one of the scientists from the tribe of Shabazz wanted to make the tribe tough and hard in order to endure the jungles of Africa and to overcome the beasts there. So this scientist from the tribe of Shabazz took his family and moved into the jungle of Africa to prove that people could live there and conquer the wild beasts. In time, this branch of the tribe of Shabazz who went on to live in the jungles of Africa with the wild beasts, 
their hair would eventually become nappy and kinky because of their hard life, and they would become known as the lost tribe of Chavez. The part of the earth which the tribe of Chavez lived on, did not lose its water in the mighty blasting away of the part called the moon. However, the moon which I live on, did lose its water. With the water dried up on the moon, I had to invent a device to steal water from the earth for my people to survive, this is why you think that the moon pulls on the earth's waters, causing high tide and low tide, because it is actually my water stealing device at work. This is why NASA blasted the moon with a two-ton rocket called La Crosse in October 2009, because they were trying to retrieve the stolen water which we were storing on the moon. I, Luna, and my followers the lunatics, have lived on the dark side of the moon for eons, watching you, and plotting our return like thieves in the night, to retake the planet you call Earth, which is rightfully ours. Once upon a time, a black man tried to destroy the black man. So Allah taught me. But he failed. He couldn't destroy himself because he was the creed. So he left some of us back here at home. That was a long, long time ago. So God taught me. It was in the making of the moon. His effort to destroy the black man caused a new world of thought to come in. He split this one in two, taking another one, another part of it, put it out before our eyes to serve as signs. For this part, he wanted to destroy us, but he couldn't. He wanted his teachings to go. Like the one that went into Africa, and we came from him. 50,000 years ago, God taught me, a black man <laughs> disagreed with the 11 scientists. And therefore, the eleven stuck together and let him go and prove his new God wisdom somewhere else. So it was Africa he went to, to prove it, in the jungles of Africa. He said he could make a people like himself and would bring them to an order, because they would be strong. Powerful. Nothing could be beat them. So the eleven said, Go and make your man, but don't make him here. So he went into the jungles of Africa. Fifty thousand years ago, so God taught me and he showed me this eye that I could recognize today. He pointed out to me one night two little stars in the southeastern skies, a blue one and a red one. He said, it's been 50,000 years since we have seen these two stars. He said, and when they go way out of the skies from our sight this time, it'll be 50,000 years before they reappear. Every time they are, uh, reappear, there will be a universal change. The 